I have in front of me here the ProMod 32 from Perception. Basically this product is modulator, it goes by the name the Versatile and the reason that it's called the Versatile is the following. It can be used in conjunction mainly with the new Sky uh, HD boxes that don't have an RF outlet on them to be able to send a picture to a second television. Now how do we take an output from something like this Sky box here, if we look at the back of it, and run it to a, a second television. Well, this allows you to do it in a number of different ways. First of all, we can take the picture from a SCAR plate and run it here to a modulator, and, but it also supports a sky eye on the far end to allow you to remotely change the channels. So on that thing, it's not just like a modulator, but it's, it's the equivalent, let's say, of the Triax Trilink. And also, it'll allow you to do the same thing using the I.O. output on the back of a box and run it to the second uh, TV. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a, a demonstration here, uh, give an overview of the product and then I'll do a quick demonstration of the actual installation of this. So the very first thing to note here is what comes in the box. Well we have our modulator here, it has two inputs, it has a SCAR input and it ha has a TV output here. So if we're running, uh, we'll say, um, a, a set-top box in the first room, we have it connected via SCAR, we can run it in here to support the signal going to a second room, but also support the local television by running a second SCAR out here to our existing TV. If we see here on the front of here, we have a channel set, and basically we can set the channel from anywhere from, realistically, from channel 21 all the way up to channel 69, and we do so using just a fine screwdriver here, a flathead screwdriver, and we can just adjust the knobs here. It comes by default set to channel 21, we have a power indicator here, and we also have uh, an IR, um, which the, our, our little sensor here will use. And um, we have a, a frequency adjuster here as well. If we look at the back of the box, uh, we have our alternative input. Instead of using the SCARF, we could actually use an, uh, an IO uh, uh, cable input here. We could have an RF output here, but there's also scope for an RF input. So if you had a TV area for, we'll say, the Serview channels, we could feed it in here, and we could integrate that signal in with the output from our satellite receiver, or indeed a generic um, combo box, something like that, and run it to a second room. Uh, we have the power input here, and we have a simple on-off switch on this unit. So what I'm going to do for the first demonstration here is, I'm just going to set this up using an I.O. link here, okay? So what I'm going to do here is, I'm just doing this for television live, I'm just going to move these boxes out of the way. So what we have here is we have a sky box here with an I.O. link on the back of it. And what we want to do is we're going to come along, we're going to take this I.O. lead here, and we'll insert it into the back of the box here. So I'm just going to take this around so you can see it. I've just inserted it in here. Take that box back around. And if we look into the back of this unit here, we'll insert it at that point there. Okay. Yeah. So you have that gun in there, and what we need is here a power supply. So we'll connect the power supply in at that point, and we'll see this is fine. So we've taken a signal from here, we've run it to this, and at that point we can actually run a cable from the back of this unit and run it directly into the normal RF input on the back of this TV. So what I have here is I have a pre-made up cable. If we just look at this cable here, on one end of it, I have a F-type connection. On the other end, I have a traditional RF connection. So what I'm going to do here is, I push this in here, and I come along, and I'll push this into the back of the TV, and what we can see here now is the output from the skybox is there, and if I come along, if I just rotate sort of around this box here, we can see the output from this box is now being displayed directly onto the TV. So that's the first interesting point on in it. Now if I came along here and I wanted to uh, power a sky eye off of this, we can actually note here that if I came along and I got a sky eye here, I'll just change the connection here from an RF connection and screw it directly into the sky eye here which is, has a, an F connection on it. And we'll see here the sky eye is lighting up because it's getting a power source from here. What we could do here is we could push this into the back of the TV. And now using my sky remote, I can actually come along here and I could input the signal here. And I could flick through the menus directly from here. Now we'll note here that it's a very simple setup. 
The simplest setup we can have with this particular unit is where we come along and we have something set up just like this, where we have a, um, a sky eye uh, here, and when we're sending the sky eye signal through here, it simply goes back down through this cable, and the IO link lead will actually bring the reverse signal telling to change channels, etc feeds it directly into the sky box for us like that. So that's excellent from that perspective, okay? Now the alternative way of doing this, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna disconnect our RF lead at this point, or our IO uh, lead. And I'm gonna do uh, the same thing here using a SCART lead. So with the SCART lead here, what we'll do is we'll come along and we'll feed the SCART put into the SCART in here. So now what we're doing is, and this is what we'll be doing with a sky box or with our generic uh, set-top boxes, what we're actually doing is we'll be taking the, the, the input from here, running it directly over here, and then what we're doing is we're running that output directly down there, okay? Now, I'm going to show you something interesting here. When I went to do a demo of this earlier on, it wouldn't work for me, okay? When I came to this thing, I got a blank screen with two white lines in it, and it wouldn't work. And the reason that it wouldn't work for me is the following. If I come along here and I go, we'll say, Sorry, now I'm just going to rotate this box around. And if we go to the settings here, if you go to settings and come down, you can see here that we have scar control. Now, if that was set to off, what would happen here is that, uh, um, that uh, um, there'd be no output from this box coming along. So if you were left with a situation, uh, and I'm going to cover this in a little sh troubleshooting video, we're going to do it at a later point. If you're left in that situation here, you have to make sure that the SCART uh, uh, output is on, okay? Uh, so just cover that topic. But the first thing we'll know here is that although we're able to view the picture here, um, it's not actually operating the sky eye for us, okay? Uh, so if I come along here and operate it here, because although the picture is being sent from this box into our versatile and down here, when we get a signal coming from this particular unit here, from the sky eye being sent back here, when it gets in a versatile, it has no way of sending that signal back to the sky box. We can't send it through the scarlet lead. So how do we send it? Well, they have a very, very neat solution to this, and they're using it by this alternative product that comes with it, which is this blister product here, okay? So what we'll do is, we'll put the sensor in here, and what we'll do then is, we put it in front of the sky box over here. And now what will happen is, is if we're coming along and we're outputting a signal here from the sky eye, it'll be the picture is coming through the scar lead and through the RF lead here, and the control signals through the sky eye are going back through this RF lead here, going out through this IR sensor and sending it into the sky box. So if we come along now and we hit the services team, we see now it does work. Okay, so you can see there's two different ways of using it. We can use it with the RF lead without, or with the IO lead without the blister um, sensor here, the IR sensor here, or we can use it in conjunction with a SCART lead and the IR thing, and we can have the control via the sky eye as well. So from that perspective, it's absolutely excellent. And the, the picture quality on this is better than any other modulator I've ever tested. Now, what we have along with this is because there's so many settings in this and things like that, the, pretty, the setup on it's pretty straightforward as I've shown. There's a few different scenarios I'm going to cover in a later video that will guide you through a few little technical quirks in terms of television setup and box sets up. But once you, once you see the guide on it, it'll be all extremely uh, self-explanatory. So that's it anyway, an overview of the uh, Proception uh, Versatile Modulator, which is available on the tvtrade.ie website.